Hi everyone, it's Maria. Welcome to Life in Yakutia channel. <laughs> Today it's minus 50. It's not the coldest day of this winter, but it's considered as a cold day. And I want to tell you about our water supplies in winter. <laughs> we live in a small village and there are no central winter water facilities. All water that we drink and use in winter we supply by ourselves. Let's start from drinking water. Our drinking water is basically ice from the river. We collect ice once a year in the end of October, when the ice is not that thick yet. The work of collecting ice is one of the most important that we do during a year and you can watch the whole process in the video preparing ice as drinking water. I will leave the link in the description below. We leave collected ice near our house and bring it inside one by one. Before taking it inside we need to remove snow and dirt. Inside of the house, ice melts naturally, and I love the sound of ice and water. We crush ice into smaller pieces, then it will melt faster. This water is used for cooking and it's safe for drinking after boiling. Mom is going to cook some fish. This is our bathroom. Here we have wash basin toilet and washing machine. We dry our clothes inside. It's possible to dry them outside as well, but it takes more time. So normally we dry clothes here. And here is a boiler that provides warm water. Water for washing we take from the river which is located in around 20 minutes by car from our house. We make a hole in the ice and pour water into 50 liters water tanks. We don't use this water for drinking because the river has under ice flow and therefore there are small particles of sand from the bottom of the river in water. When all water tanks are full we take them home. We have one big water tank under the floor. It's replenished this way once in one or two weeks, depending on how much water we use. All used water goes to the septic tank, which is outside and under the ground. It's heated by special cable and emptied by sewerage truck once in two months. For bathing we have a sauna, which is a separate building, and I will tell about it in another video. And now, as usual, one question to you. Is there anything special that you do to have water in your house? Share in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Have a nice day!